Breaking, Putin issues urgent message to Trump, surprising media. Americans in the United States have listened to tall tales from the Democrats since the end of the 2016 election a little over a year ago. Russian President Vladimir Putin fired back at the naysayers, and the media is in full-on meltdown mode. President Donald Trump is wrapping up his first tour of Asia since winning the election last November. The journey to latest stop in Hanoi, Vietnam, gave the president the chance to elaborate on the Russian collusion rumors. President Trump spoke to Putin at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit and later commented on it to reports. He said that Putin absolutely did not meddle in our election, according to CBS News. When the president spoke on his conversation with Putin, he made one thing clear. He has no interest in dwelling on this topic and wasting more time and resources on a baseless claim. He said he absolutely did not meddle in our election. He did not do what they are saying he did, President Trump said when speaking of Putin. The interview occurred on Air Force One while the president traveled to Hanoi. Now that he only has one stop left, the trip is coming to a close, and he is starting to speak about what he learned on his trip. Every time he sees me, he said, I didn't do that. And I believe, I really believe that when he tells me that he means it, President Trump continued. He went on to say that Putin feels insulted that this claim essentially keeps resurfacing. President Trump went on to describe how he believes that these rumors coming from Democrats put up an artificial barrier. The belief is that by making these empty accusations, they are only putting a layer of doubt on the average American's view of the U.S. intelligence community. During the summit, President Trump and Putin did not have a formal meeting. The times that the two did speak was when they were walking, or when they would cross paths at the summit. The claims that Russia colluded in the election are still going strong despite the lack of evidence and denial of all parties. Even special counsel Robert Mueller can't pull any significant evidence involving President Trump and Russia. In fact, the first indictment came out from that group from Paul Manafort, his business partner, and sites are likely being set on the Podesta group next. There was not one mention of President Trump in the indictment or any of the information that followed. The results are a group of Americans asking what collusion? The main reason is because the special counsel was designed solely to sniff out Russia interference in the election. Even the current indictments don't make a connection between the president and Russia, so what other conclusion is left? Though the talks of Russia revealed what many expected, the good news did come from President Trump and Putin's conversations. According to the president, they reached an agreement on principles for the ravaged Syria.